In the heart of a bustling city, nestled among the towering skyscrapers, stood the imposing structure of St. Martin's Hospital. It was a place where life and death intertwined in a delicate dance, and where the night shift nurses, like Jenna, bore witness to the ebb and flow of human existence when the sun set and the world outside faded into darkness. Jenna had always been a diligent worker, dedicated to her patients and her duties. However, her resolve was put to the test during a particularly harrowing night shift that would leave an indelible mark on her psyche. It was a chilly autumn night when Jenna arrived for her shift. The corridors were eerily quiet, illuminated by the flickering fluorescent lights that cast long, ominous shadows on the linoleum floor. The hum of the life support machines echoed through the halls, a haunting melody that seemed to grow louder with each step Jenna took. As the night progressed, a sense of unease settled over Jenna, a feeling that she was being watched by unseen eyes. Her patients, usually in a deep slumber, tossed and turned restlessly, their muffled groans and whispers adding to the disquieting atmosphere. Jenna brushed it off as fatigue, chalking it up to the taxing nature of the night shift. But as the hours crept by, strange occurrences began to unfold. Medical equipment malfunctioned inexplicably, alarms blared without cause, and eerie shadows seemed to dart around the corners of her vision. Jenna's pulse quickened, her breaths coming in short, panicked gasps as the sensation of being watched intensified. During a routine check on an elderly patient, Jenna was jolted by a blood-curdling scream that seemed to resonate from the depths of the hospital. Rushing toward the source, she found herself in a dimly lit hallway that had inexplicably transformed into a labyrinth of twisting corridors, each one leading her deeper into the heart of the hospital's dark secrets. With each turn, the air grew colder, and the stench of decay filled her nostrils. Unnerving whispers echoed through the corridor, their words indecipherable yet laden with a profound sense of malevolence. Jenna's footsteps faltered as she struggled to maintain her composure, her mind clouded by a growing sense of dread that threatened to consume her. As she pressed on, the walls seemed to pulse with a sinister energy, the very foundation of the hospital resonating with a haunting chorus of forgotten souls. Jenna's vision blurred, the boundaries between reality and nightmare blending into a nightmarish tableau that defied all logic and reason. In a moment of profound terror, Jenna found herself face to face with a spectral figure, its hollow eyes piercing through the darkness with a hunger that transcended the mortal realm. Frozen in fear, Jenna could do nothing but watch as the apparition extended a spectral hand, its frigid touch sending a shockwave of dread through her very being. In a desperate bid for escape, Jenna fled, her heart pounding in her chest as she navigated the labyrinthine corridors that seemed to shift and contort with every step. She could feel the presence of the specter trailing behind her its chilling whispers echoing in the confines of her mind, promising an eternity of torment and despair. Jenna's heart raced as she struggled to regain her composure in the safety of the hospital lobby. The flickering lights cast an unsettling glow over the room, their intermittent pulses mirroring the erratic rhythm of her pulse. Every nerve in her body screamed for escape, yet a sense of duty anchored her to the hospital, compelling her to confront the horrors that lurked within its walls. As dawn approached, 
Jenna mustered the courage to confide in her fellow night shift nurses about the haunting encounter. To her surprise, they shared their own spine-chilling experiences, recounting tales of disembodied whispers, phantom footsteps, and unexplainable cold spots that had plagued the hospital for years. Jenna's sense of isolation evaporated, replaced by a shared understanding of the malevolent forces that loomed over St. Martin's Hospital. Determined to unravel the mystery, Jenna delved into the hospital's history, poring over faded archives and forgotten records. She discovered that the hospital had been built atop an ancient burial ground, its foundations disrupting the resting place of souls whose only solace had been the tranquility of the earth. A shiver ran down her spine as she realized the depth of the hospital's dark past, and the profound consequences of disturbing the restless spirits that lingered within its confines. Driven by an insatiable curiosity and an unwavering determination, Jenna embarked on a quest to communicate with the spirits, hoping to offer them solace and, in turn, find peace for herself. Guided by an enigmatic local medium, she delved into the realm of the supernatural, conducting seances and invoking ancient rituals in an attempt to bridge the gap between the living and the dead. With each ritual, the hospital's spectral inhabitants grew increasingly agitated, their presence manifesting in unsettling phenomena that tested the limits of Jenna's resolve. Shadowy apparitions materialized in the corridors, their anguished wails reverberating through the halls, and the temperature plummeted to bone-chilling depths, leaving Jenna and her companions shrouded in a veil of icy terror. In the midst of the chaos, Jenna uncovered the story of a young nurse who had tragically perished under mysterious circumstances decades ago. Her restless spirit, tormented by the injustice of her untimely demise, had become the focal point of the hospital's haunting. Jenna realized that appeasing this tormented soul was the key to quelling the restless spirits that plagued St. Martin's Hospital. With the help of the medium, Jenna sought to communicate with the nurse's spirit, offering her solace and closure in the hope of setting her free from the hospital's spectral grasp. Through tearful confessions and heartfelt apologies, the nurse's spirit found peace, her ethereal form dissipating into the gentle embrace of the dawn. As the first rays of sunlight filtered through the windows, Jenna felt a profound sense of relief wash over her, the weight of the hospital's haunted legacy lifting from her shoulders. With a newfound sense of purpose, she dedicated herself to preserving the memory of the souls who had found their final rest within the hospital's hallowed grounds, ensuring that their stories would never be forgotten. And as she stepped out into the dawn, she knew that the echoes of the hospital's past would forever be etched into her memory, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and redemption in the face of the unknown. Amidst the desolate outskirts of a small industrial town lay the abandoned ruins of the Eastwood Manufacturing Factory, a towering edifice that once hummed with the vitality of machinery and human labor. With its rusted metal exterior and shattered windows, the factory stood as a haunting reminder of a forgotten era, its solemn presence looming over the surrounding landscape like a silent sentinel. On a particularly frigid winter night, Kevin, a seasoned security guard, embarked on his routine night shift at the derelict factory. His breath formed wispy clouds in the frigid air as he patrolled the dimly lit corridors, his footsteps echoing against the decaying walls. 
A profound sense of unease settled over him, as if the very air was charged with a palpable tension that prickled at the back of his neck. As the night deepened, strange occurrences began to unravel in the shadowy recesses of the factory. Unexplained drafts of icy wind swept through the corridors, carrying with them faint whispers that seemed to echo from the forgotten machinery. Kevin's every instinct screamed for him to flee, to abandon the desolate factory to its eerie solitude, yet a sense of duty compelled him to investigate the unsettling disturbances. With each step, the air grew colder, and the oppressive weight of the factory's history bore down on Kevin like an invisible vice. His flashlight flickered erratically, casting disorienting shadows that seemed to writhe and contort in the corners of his vision. The machinery, long dormant, creaked and groaned as if animated by some unseen force, adding to the disquieting cacophony that enveloped the factory in an aura of malevolence. In the heart of the factory, Kevin stumbled upon a forgotten chamber, its walls adorned with cryptic symbols and faded murals that depicted scenes of industrial triumph tainted by a profound sense of tragedy. A foreboding chill crept up his spine as he realized that the chamber was a site of unspeakable rituals and occult practices, an altar where the boundary between the material and the ethereal had been breached in the pursuit of forbidden knowledge. As he scrutinized the eerie engravings etched into the chamber's walls, a haunting melody began to resonate through the darkness, its mournful notes weaving a tapestry of despair and anguish that threatened to consume Kevin's sanity. He could feel a presence coalescing in the shadows, a spectral entity that hungered for his very essence, its ethereal form pulsating with an otherworldly malevolence that defied comprehension. With a surge of primal fear, Kevin fled from the chamber, his footsteps echoing through the labyrinthine corridors as he sought refuge from the encroaching darkness. The factory seemed to warp and contort around him, its walls shifting and pulsating with an otherworldly energy that threatened to ensnare him within its cursed embrace. Every corner turned revealed a new horror, a specter that beckoned to him with hollow, sunken eyes and a twisted grin that promised an eternity of torment and despair. In a final act of desperation, Kevin broke through the factory's decaying exterior, the frigid night air washing over him in a wave of relief as he collapsed onto the frozen ground. With a trembling hand, he reached for his radio, his voice cracking as he relayed the night's harrowing events to the authorities. As the first rays of dawn pierced through the horizon, the factory loomed behind him, its secrets and terrors forever etched into the fabric of his being, a testament to the enduring power of the unknown in the dead of night. In the heart of the Appalachian Mountains, nestled amidst the dense foliage, lay the Weatherford Logging Camp, an isolated outpost where the rhythmic hum of machinery and the crackling of bonfires punctuated the deep silence of the forest. For Jack, a seasoned logger, the night shift was both a familiar routine and a journey into the unknown, where the whispers of the ancient woods seemed to blend with the distant echoes of forgotten spirits. On a moonless night, a biting chill permeated the air, seeping through the cracks of the wooden cabins and settling into Jack's bones as he trudged through the darkness. The distant hoots of owls added an eerie layer to the night, their haunting calls echoing through the towering pines. With only the feeble glow of his lantern to guide him, Jack ventured into the depths of the forest, where the trees swayed with an almost sentient energy, 
their gnarled branches reaching out like spectral fingers that beckoned him into the heart of the unknown. As the night deepened, the forest came alive with a symphony of unsettling sounds. Jack's footsteps seemed to reverberate with an otherworldly echo, and the rustling of the underbrush took on an ominous quality that tested the limits of his courage. Strange figures darted at the edge of his vision, their fleeting forms dissolving into the mist before he could discern their origin. A sense of foreboding settled over Jack, as if the very fabric of the forest had become tainted with an ancient malevolence that hungered for his presence. In the heart of the logging camp, the familiar sights and sounds gave way to a creeping sense of unease, as inexplicable events began to unravel with each passing hour. The campfire's flames danced erratically, casting elongated shadows that seemed to writhe and contort with a life of their own. Tools vanished without a trace, their absence leaving a void that seemed to echo the growing sense of disquiet that settled over the loggers. In a moment of profound dread, one of the loggers ventured into the heart of the forest, lured by the promise of forgotten riches and the whispers of a hidden treasure that had long haunted the camp's collective imagination. Days passed without any sign of his return, and the forest itself seemed to close in on the camp, its ancient sentinels looming over the loggers with an almost tangible hostility that stirred the primal fears lurking within their hearts. Determined to uncover the truth, Jack assembled a small group of loggers and ventured deep into the heart of the forest, following the elusive trail of their missing comrade with a steadfast resolve that bordered on reckless abandon. The mist grew thicker, obscuring their vision and distorting their perception of time and space. Strange symbols etched into the trees seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, guiding them deeper into the heart of the forest's mysteries. In a forgotten glade, the loggers stumbled upon an ancient altar, its weathered stone surface adorned with grotesque symbols that pulsed with a dim, otherworldly light. A palpable force surged through the air, carrying with it the whispers of forgotten deities and vengeful spirits that had long been entwined with the fabric of the forest. The missing logger appeared before them, his eyes vacant and hollow, his very essence consumed by the primal force that now threatened to claim them as its next victims. With a fervent prayer to the forces of light and a desperate plea for salvation, the loggers broke through the veil of malevolence that had ensnared the glade, their every step fraught with an indomitable will to escape the forest's clutches. As they emerged into the clearing, the first rays of dawn bathed the forest in a gentle, golden light, banishing the shadows that had threatened to consume them. With haunted gazes and a profound sense of gratitude for their narrow escape, the loggers retreated from the Weatherford logging camp, knowing that the ancient forces that lay dormant within the forest would forever haunt their dreams and test the boundaries of their courage in the dead of night. And as they ventured back into the realm of civilization, the whispered tales of the Appalachian Forest's haunted legacy would forever linger in their minds, a reminder of the enduring power of the unknown in the depths of the wilderness.